Honestly, bro, like this fragrance, Mancera Red Tobacco, is already a grenade of performance. Mancera doesn't slouch. I was styling out there like a champion. They've never been known for being weak. Why would you drop an intense version? What are you trying to achieve? We're gonna make history. This is what happens when all you people are like, I want Beast Mode Performance, I want 78 hours of longevity in CI at $7. Like, why? Oh, you cheap bastard. This is an investment, man. And how freaking strong is this thing? Only one way to find out. Let's roll my music so we can check out Mancera Red Tobacco Intense. And I almost intensely this up. Bless you, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3 U3B3. Shout out to Max Roma for sponsoring today's video and me for selecting the predecessor to this. Like, it's too damn strong. Stop flexing your muscles, Jordan. You look like a fucking imbecile. Has anybody in the audience, and feel free to leave it in the comment below, had a performance issue with red tobacco? I can't even reach for this shit enough. Like, it's just, it's a lot. I don't go crazy with this scent. This is a fragrance that I honestly worn 10, 15 times. And one that I personally, since I'm a five sprayer guy, I hit around two to three, and it does me perfectly fine. And honestly, if I'm going straight on clothes, one big good mist sits in those fibers. But then you go ahead and drop an intense version of red tobacco. I don't see what the purpose is. I hope it's not a full redundant, like, oh, this is the same shit with not much elevated performance. Or maybe they're doing kind of a fresher interpretation of intent. I mean, it's the fucking same. Like there's literally zero creativity. Like, like if you're the person who runs through their collection and wants to like quick grab one of these, you will absolutely mistakenly grab the, I mean, come on, do something a little different. Like, is there even no differences between these two? Let's look it up. All right, so the new intense version notes are, the head note of saffron followed by cinnamon, incense, nutmeg, and pear, followed by leather, precious tobacco, patchouli leaves, vetiver, and jasmine, and at the base, rich amber, woody notes, and vanilla pod and white musk. And looking at the old notes, I mean, pretty similar. Cinnamon, saffron, incense, nutmeg, white peach, green apple, Nepalese oud, leaves of patchouli, delicate jasmine, precious tobacco, amber, woody notes, vetiver, vanilla, pods and white mud it sounds like it's like two notes different why do i want to pay extra for an intense version as opposed to just getting the regular tobacco oh we're gonna have to smell them and find out sounds like a little bit of a redundant cash grab if you ask me we'll see there's only one way to time i tell you i'd use these very sparingly like one good spray i'm chill like the ready the sillage is stupid like, i don't even i legit don't even need to Get close. It's a lot. It's a very intense fragrance. And this is the original that I'm talking about, not the new joint. There's a lot of that going on. The Mancera Red Tobacco original is just wildly... It's a lot. It's a sexy ass fragrance. Don't get it twisted. So I just sprayed it to get a little bit of a reminder of what type of energy we're on. But let's jump right into the intense version. I don't need something to be stronger. Oh, so they did change. Okay, so a magnetic top here. So I have the screw on one which was the original joint, as opposed to they got a magnetic top now, which is fairly decent. Eh, you know, don't be shaking it crazy, but if you got it in the middle of your stash, make sure it isn't in a tight location because the shit could fall off. Uh, I'm gonna do two sprays because I just don't know what this fragrance is gonna do on the intense red tobacco, but let's see. That is very oody forward. I don't get much intensity though. All right, it's not redundant, but this is the original red. This is the new joint. So off the test strip, the original red comes off a lot more sweeter and even a little bit more mass appealing than the intense. The intense, first of all, doesn't feel crazy intense. It kind of feels, if not aligned almost exactly, right under actually. And it's a lot more wood forward, a lot more leather forward than the red one. So it's definitely not a cash grab as far as scent profile is concerned. I'm gonna have to go on skin. They do smell different for sure. I'm gonna do one spray because again, I don't, I don't trust this shit. And I'm gonna go one spray on the original, which I'm gonna regret. It seems like the new atomizer as far as Distribution is a lot better. It has a longer atomite. Oh, shit. All right. 
The new intensely is strong, right? I don't feel it's stronger to me than the original. Like the original, I could barely like, yeah, I get way more of the original red tobacco strength, sweetness, tobacco, woody, uh, almost like wet tobacco leaves on the original and on the intense, more oody, more cumin. The tobacco is definitely present, not as sweet and not as strong. That's just how I'm getting it. Like it's not the same scent, but it's not intense. It's deeper, it's darker, it's richer, but I wouldn't necessarily say better or intenser. Yeah, no, it doesn't, doesn't move my monkey. Does not move my monkey. The original one still seems more potent, more in your face, more bang. Yeah, in your face. I mean, there's a lot of shit in the air. After 10 years in this shit, I still can't get used to some of the strengths in a confined space of these fragrances. Imagine sitting in an office cubicle and somebody walking in with 10 sprays of this type of scent profile. If I'm a content creator that smells hundreds of fragrances on a consistent basis and I still get choked the fuck out in a confined space, imagine your coworker in an office. You're gonna die or get fired or written up. Oh. That's the smell of desire, my lady. God, no, it smells like, like a used diaper. You know, desire smells like that to some people. What is that? It smells like a turd covered in burnt hair. <laughs> smells like Bigfoot's dick. Oh. oh let me give these a couple minutes to dry down and give you guys my final determination because I already know where I'm kind of leaning with this shit, but give me a minute. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, let's go back to it. So we got both glossy pieces right here. Let me go back to the original red tobacco. It's not like you can tell the difference visually in camera anyway. Still the beast that it is. You get that apple sweetness, still hard tobacco, still performing incredible, still a fucking beast of a fragrance. And now we got the new intense red tobacco. Not intense at all, a lot darker. It doesn't have the sweetness or the potency or longevity that the original does. I don't know if it has to do with batch variations and maybe the newer red tobaccos as this is slightly older one are weaker and this is supposed to be like making up for it. The scent profiles aren't the same. They don't feel redundant, but you're not getting an intense anything off of this, at least not off of my skin, test strip or to my nose. So unfortunately for me, it's a good scent. It has sex appeal. It's darker than the original, but I personally would choose the original and for me, the intensely is not a ball spray or intense than intensely unfortunately nah, nah the original one is still king big swinging dick of the fragrance and this one is not intense to me i love y'all mother suckers from the heart i'll put a link in the description if you're interested in either of these two fragrances and let me know in the comments below if you have smelled the intense version and what are your thoughts and how does it perform on your skin i'll see y'all stitches next time you know who it is beast and kick smooches Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would. <laughs>